First, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT Channel 22 News, Saturday morning. Welcome back. It's 821. Earlier this year, you may remember and seen celebrities holding signs up with the hashtag Bring Back Our Girls. People are using social media to raise awareness about the mass kidnapping in Nigeria. Local efforts are being supported to help humanitarian efforts there. Joining us this morning is Torin Elkler. You are with the Church of the Brethren. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Sure. Let's get right to it. You have a very important meeting going on to raise awareness because uh, bring people up to speed. These girls have not been found. That's right. It was. Um in April, 276 girls were kidnapped from a school in uh, Chibuk, Nigeria. And um, there's been a lot of work going on uh, internationally for at least for a while now, um, since April, to uh, encourage the Nigerian government to bring them, and do the work that's necessary to bring them back to their families. And what, you know, great timing for you to think about, you know, this is the holiday season when we want to be with our friends and family. Think about all these poor families that don't have there, there are girls to celebrate with. It's got to be heart-wrenching. So what are you doing locally to try and help those efforts? Um, well, we are starting uh, in northern Indiana a campaign that's called a Mustard Seed Faith campaign, okay. uh, where we are encouraging people in our churches to um, make donations and match donations and grow funds uh, to send over to Nigeria to help with the humanitarian relief there. Um, and then the denominational church of the Brethren has uh, made a matching grant promise of up to five hundred thousand dollars to match whatever can be raised around the country not just by people uh, from the churches but anyone's free to give to that um, program and uh, our sister church in nigeria is working uh, to help really alleviate a lot of those concerns because there are over six hundred and seventy five thousand people that have been displaced uh, in the last eight months now um, wow. by the insurgents there uh, let's talk a little bit a bit about there's a special eight-year-old Preston Andrews from Wakarusa that, yeah. that he is really trying to be a catalyst for change tell me what he's doing well back in April when he just sort of overheard the situation with the the girls kidnapped from um, the Chibok school uh, from his parents conversation and he started uh, a war for change at his uh, local school um, where he encouraged uh, class members and other folks from the school to bring in loose change and whichever class ra raised the most weight in change okay. and had a little celebration in honor of them and they raised um, I, I can't remember exactly how much but it was over 300 pounds of change that they managed to collect there in April uh, recently he just had his ninth birthday and uh, at that party he invited lots of his friends but he asked them all not to bring presents but mm. to bring money instead to donate again um, to help with uh, supporting the search for the girls in Nigeria and you're going to talk about this today. Let's wrap up when this meeting is. Make sure people know it's uh, at the community room at the Mennonite Church. Um, what time? And actually, he's going to be there. Yes, Preston will be there. Um, it's going to be great. It's at 11.30 this morning okay. um, at the Mennonite Church offices, which is on Benham Avenue in Alcart, just across from Associated um, Mennonite Biblical Seminary. Wonderful. We thank you so much for being here this morning with us, Torin. And obviously our hearts and prayers go out to those families and hopefully that those girls are found and they're found safely. Well, thanks. I'm sure they appreciate the prayers. Absolutely. Thank you so much.